Hi everyone, my name is Frankie and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 268 and it's September 25th, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 1984 science fiction film, 1984. Now in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster and place it to the side of me. I do this because I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being I have absolutely no clue about the film or what it's about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 1984 science fiction film movie poster to 1984. Now, I'm going to be honest to you. This movie poster is quite weird and creepy. We have a couple over here, a man and a woman, being very intimate, you know, in a loving embrace. And behind that, we have a giant head peering out. I'm taking it that this is supposed to mean that this person is looking at this loving couple and is creeping his way towards finding out what they're doing with their lives. Now, I don't know if this film is just set in the year 1984, or if it's just like, you know, some kind of feeling total, because like, I'm looking at the, the V, like, you see the, the logo of the V uh, in 1984, it looks as if that, that has some kind of symbol, maybe there's a company called 1984, or maybe it's at building 1984, it's a little weird, a little interesting, but... I'm feeling that some way, shape, or form it has to do with this person's relationship with the other and that person looking out about at them. I feel like it's, like it's going to be interesting. That's all I can say. I'm looking forward to sitting down and enjoying the 1984 science fiction film, 1984. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I'd then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch 1984. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching 1984, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the movie. You see, I don't release any major spoilers about the film, nor do I tell you anything about the movie's plot itself. Why? Well, because I don't want to ruin your chance of watching a really great film for the first time. And since this is also my first time watching 1984 as well, I wouldn't want anyone to tell me any major spoilers about the film or tell me anything about the movie's plot before I go ahead and watch the film myself and enjoy it. You see, the whole point for a movie a day challenge is to sit down and be entertained about the film you're watching. And I don't want to ruin your experience by just telling you everything about the film before time. I want you to enjoy the film for what it is. Now, in case you have previously seen 1984 previously, then please feel free to substitute 1984 for another film of your choosing. It doesn't even have to be in the genre of science fiction. This way you can take part in a movie a day challenge and possibly watch each film along with me as I go along. In saying this, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 1984 science fiction film, 1984, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll... Be right back. I just finished the 1984 science fiction film, 1984. And I want to let you, the viewer, know that 1984, I didn't really like. I'm going to be honest. The film is, yes, weird and creepy, but the film also has moments that are a little bit too graphic for my viewing pleasure. More like scenes where people will get shot in the back of the head and die in front of you. It sort of reminded me of Schindler's List in ways. Also, I didn't feel this film is really a science fiction type movie. To me, it's a drama, but it's labeled as a science fiction film. It's really weird at times, and I'm not going to give any other movie away. I just want you to know and be aware that there are sex scenes in this film, and it's full frontal sex scenes. I mean, everything you see. And it's awkward. I say that because when you're viewing a movie, especially in the area of science fiction, you know, you, you will see some nudity, but it's nudity. Usually maybe a woman topless. Not everything. You normally don't see everything. 
And I just wanted you, the viewer, to be aware of, of that. Aside of that, the story is really down. Like, I, I don't feel that, like, this film at all picked me up. It's a film when you watch it, you start it off and it just goes like that. It makes you feel depressed. At the time I was watching this film, I was like, come on, do something that'll make me happy. Please. At least show me some, like, blue sky in this film. Everything is, like, a gringy color. It's not gringy. Grud like, grunge. Like, a grungy color. It, like, I haven't seen more gray in a film since I've seen the, the Star Destroyer in Star Wars. It's just gray and darkness. And I, I was like, if you want to be happy, don't watch this film. If you want to learn something, watch the film. But it's not a happy movie. Just know that. Would I recommend it to a family member or a friend? No. I, I don't know if I can recommend this film to a family member or a friend knowing what I've seen in it. Would I watch it again? I would watch it again. I really think that the storyline is very in-depth and I did not understand it. And I understood what was going on, but I need to learn more about what they were talking about and watch the film again. Maybe it'll give me a better understanding of what I was viewing. But, uh... Aside from that, wow. Just wow. Really wow. Be prepared for what I just told you. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video? Click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen the 1984 science fiction film, 1984, and liked it. Maybe you've seen it and you didn't like it. Maybe you're interested in watching the film. You're watching this review to hear a little bit about the movie. And then considering to go watch the film. And while you're watching it, after you're done, come back and write something. Well, whichever the three may be, please tell me in the comment box down below. Right down there. And as you're doing that, you see the word subscribe underneath this video? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day number 269 of A Movie A Day Challenge, and I'll be watching the 1954 science fiction film, Them. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 269, and the 1954 science fiction film, Them. I will see you tomorrow.